Good to see you. Two, you want beer? Yeah, you got a bunch of them on tap. Can you narrow them down to three for me? I would go River New Golden Ale, Dirty Bird American Pale Ale, and or the Latte Stout. I'm gonna start with the Dirty Bird. Perfect. Let's go. Cool. Tell me what I'm uh, drinking here. This is Dirty Bird. That's the American Pale Ale, or the Approachable Pale Ale, as I like to call it. Um, so we've got a pretty, uh, pr pretty complex uh, hop profile in here. We uh, we use a bunch of Cascade, which is by far my favorite hop. We use that That's almost awesome. everything. Uh, we've got a little bit of Columbus in there to give a little bit of smokiness, and then we also put in uh, we finish with Simcoe, uh, which gives it a really cool grapefruity flavor. Neptune's Brewery. Neptune is the god of the sea. Um, he's also the god of rivers and lakes. It works here. It's different. You know, Livingston is kind of funky anyway, and there's a lot of things that don't fit in for whatever reason, and you know, we figure we'll just kind of keep running with that. Well, the brewery started in 1998. We had, uh, it was started by a guy named Bill Taylor. I came in as his brewer about three and a half years ago, and I actually learned how to brew from him on this system. I had never brewed it. We actually went to Florida and we had the opportunity to buy it. We've changed a lot. Um, we got a lot of new equipment. Uh, we've upgraded. Um, I mean, the brew house is still the same. A 10 barrel Franken brew system. Um, and it's all been pieced together over the years. Then we've got uh, three 10 barrel fermenters and three 15 barrel fermenters. And if we max them out, we can push about 80 barrels of fermentation at a time. We've got nine beers on tap, uh, plus kombucha, and we have ten taps total. We do a lot of seasonals, uh, a lot of different things over the year, uh, but we, we have eight standards that we try and keep on all the time. We've got a 70 square foot kitchen, which is tiny. December 14, we brought sushi in, and uh, there was a guy here in town who had a sushi restaurant, and he just couldn't afford his rent anymore. So he came to us and said, hey, what if we do a collaboration? What if I bring sushi to Neptune's? And so he was working with us for a while. We actually hired our own guys and we brought in a couple chefs from around the country. And uh, they've upgraded the menu, they've changed it, they, you know, they've put their own spin on it. Belgian she may not. Um, and it's, uh, it's a year old, it's soured a little bit in the keg, um, which actually I think I'm really happy with. We're gonna put that keg out tomorrow. We have 40 pints of it wow, and that's like it. It's uh, crazy flavors. I mean, it's it first. I do it again. And we won't have that until next year again. Cool. Thanks for letting and, me try it. Yeah, my pleasure. That's and then hopefully the next iteration will be, uh, will be better. John and his team here at Neptune Brewing are super upbeat and positive people. They're fun to be around. Their beer's awesome. I'm trying a new beer here. They've got a handful on tap that are new for their seasonals. Their beers have been a delight to try. So come check them out. Pine Pass members, get 50 cents off your first pint, a dollar off your first growler. Come check out Sushi, they're also a tab member. So you can text your friends a beer from across the state or across the country and redeem right here in Livingston. Uh, be sure to check out our YouTube channel if you like craft beer. There's lots of great breweries on there. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.